Peaches Geldof has been sending tweets and pictures to Instagram which suggest she could be a follower of OTO, that's Ordo Templi Orientis. OTO are well known for their use of drugs and sadomasochism. We wanted to learn more so we spoke to a guy called John Attack who has personally dealt with people who follow the OTO. OTO was a German group practicing magic which came under the control of Aleister Crowley in the 1920s. Crowley was called the wickedest man in the world and he was a target of Hitler's. He basically was highly critical of Christianity which he thought was bogus. He was a multiple drug abuser, he was a heroin addict by the time he died in the 1940s. He was bisexual, it was a time when that was rather unpopular and he was accused of having caused some of the members of his group to commit suicide with the pressure he put on them. Along with most of the ritual magic groups of the early 20th century, the OTO compacted all of the gods and goddesses they could get their hands on. So they got the Egyptian, the Viking, uh, the Greek, the Roman, and put them all together. And they then practiced rituals which were meant to give them magical powers to get little demon entities to work on their behalf, to control other people, to do what they wanted them to do. The rituals were written down by Crowley and so have been passed on and continue to be used. Ron Hubbard, the founder of Scientology, was a, an avid follower of Aleister Crowley and indeed practiced the eighth ritual of the OTO, which is a homosexual magical ritual intended to bring about the birth of a moon child who would be the Antichrist. Scientology derives a, a great deal of material from Crowley. I must say that I consider Scientology far more dangerous than the OTO. With the OTO, it doesn't publicize, it doesn't actively recruit. It's a pretty small group. You're probably looking at a few thousand people at most. They do have a leader to whom they pay reverence, but OTO people tend to be more intellectually inclined and they've often studied a great deal around the subject. I've dealt with the OTO and I found them perfectly friendly. Having said that, they have a very liberal attitude towards drug abuse and towards sex, which for most people would probably not be palatable. Crowley's sexual practices were very extreme, sadomasochistic practices. He had a particular penchant for, for women who had gonorrhea. If somebody had any kind of psychological difficulty, then this would not be a good idea. Let us know what you think about all of this in a comment. Most importantly, click subscribe. Check out our debate about cults and also our latest video about the recent bomb attack in Boston. We'll see you again next time.